Happy Holidays from Studio Scrapping. I'm just really thankful that you are a uh, newsletter subscriber, and so I made you this Happy Holidays um, layout with a Cricut Design Space file, and I'm going to show you a little bit how I made it. So one of the things that I do is I go to the Close to My Heart how-to books all the time. And if I only have 10, 15 minutes to spend um, t on crafting, it's not enough time to take everything out. So what I do is I'll go into the how-to book, choose a layout, and then I will um, enter that into Cricut Design Space. So let me show you how I do that. The first thing I do in Cricut Design Space is pull out a shape and create my canvas. Then I start making all of the various shapes for the layout. The beauty of the layout is that it tells you exactly how big your shape is. So in this case, it's three by three, and I know that it's going to be positioned one and a half inches from the left margin and two and a half inches from the top margin. So I just enter those numbers into the position and then it's perfectly placed. I do the same thing with my images. So my little photo wells are going to be placed, um, in this case, one and a half inches from the left margin plus the three inches for the piece of paper to give me 4.5, but still two and a half inches from the top. So you keep doing that until you have all of your pages or your little squares for the layout. Then I save the layout and it's ready to go. The next step is to figure out which paper packet I'm going to use. In this case, because it's a holiday layout, I decided to use the city sidewalks paper. And I love this season's greetings paper with all the houses and cars, so cute and all of these really sparkly compliments, love them. So here comes the fun part, creating the layout and design space. I opened up a new copy of that magic layout that I had created earlier, and I went ahead and I changed the um, squares that are going to be pattern paper into colors that closely match the actual paper. And then I just start pulling out different images from the various cartridges. And so, oh, let me just show you this smaller. Okay, so one of the things that probably took the longest amount of time, and I would encourage you to sort of think outside the box when you see an image like this. Um, this is a border image that comes from the art booking cartridge and I knew that I wanted to have these hanging ornaments but I didn't want it in a border so I went ahead and I used the um, slicing tool and I just sliced each of these um, ornaments apart. Now you can tell that I didn't do like a super amazing job um, so for instance, if you come up here, there's a little bit um, that I had to trim off after it um, was cut by the Cricut. And then on this one, these, it just doesn't look that good. But once it's actually cut, it looks fine. So let's see what the images look like when they are cut. First thing I did was cut all of my cardstock and pattern paper and again I used the layout from Magic. I decided to include a journaling card, one of the picture of my life cards that is included with the City Sidewalks kit. All the papers are double sided so it gives you lots of different options. Then I cut my Cricut pieces. I used a lot of glitter paper because I love it, it's so beautiful. So the first piece I cut was from Artistry which was that scallop border. And then I went ahead and cut um, the ornaments from that border I talked to you about earlier. Now, after I um, 
sliced them, I went ahead and added squares so that the ornaments looked like they were hanging, and then I just welded those together. I did realize later on that there was like this perfect holidays title I could have used, but instead I just welded individual letters together. And then the next one was from Flower Market, was the holly. And I actually made a bit of a, a discovery. I wished I would have done the willow paper on the bottom and then the other on the top, so I changed that later on. And then again, I did my uh, letters for my various titles. Once you adhere everything to your um, base cardstock, now you can um, start adding the extras. I use this old um, adhesive that we don't sell anymore, but the any kind of red line adhesive, just strong adhesive, um, works really well. I highly recommend these Teflon micro tip scissors they're excellent and nothing sticks to them so I have a pair regular pair of scissors for my um, everything else paper and a regular pair for ribbon and then I have these for anything where I use adhesive and so you just want to make sure that you choose something really strong um, and burnish it really well so that it doesn't come off then the next step is to put the happy, and this time I used Bonding Memory glue pen. And you'll notice that I welded a rectangle to the bottom of my happy so I didn't have to deal with individual letters. I could just deal with them as one unit. Sorry about getting my head in the way there. I really tried hard because I had frizzy hair that day. <laughs> But anyway, the nice thing about bonding memories is that you can move it around a little bit after you're done. Um, and so that makes it really easy to adhere to your cardstock. So I used um, bonding memories on the thin sections and then just regular um, adhesive on the backs of those glitter ornaments. And then when it came time to actually um, start gluing in some of those other pieces, I used a lot of um, foam adhesive so that um, everything could pop up a little bit. And so as I'm zooming in here, I show you how on this um, holly that I use some foam tape. And again, on the design studio, I went ahead and made changes where I had the solid color on the background of that holly and then the pattern paper as the top. Um, I could have used foam adhesive on that holidays title, but I decided not to. I just went ahead and popped up the um, background and texture paper, and then I used a little bit of liquid glass on um, for each of those bows. And you'll also notice that I, on the pattern paper that I inked the edges as well. Oh, and I also like to draw little boxes around my um, images just so that, you know, it gives it like a finished look. Later on, I did go ahead and add um, those drawn lines around the entire um, page as well. Again, I wish you the happiest of holidays, and I really look forward to working with you on all of your crafting needs in the new year. Until then, happy scrapping!